Hello guys, welcome to another video from Knowledge Things YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to teach you electronics. So when we talk about electronics, our first topic is going to be the current. There are two two parts in the current. First one is direct current, and the second one is alternating current. Remember you again, the first part is direct current, and the second part is alternating current. First, we are going to talk about the direct current. When we talk about the direct current, we can say direct current is the current which doesn't take, change its voltage with the time. So, electronic electronic sources like batteries provide direct current. And what we get to our homes is alternating current. Our second topic is going to be the alternating current. Alternating current can be simply defined as the current which changes its voltage with the time. As I said, we get alternating current to our homes. So it changes about it changes its voltage about 50 times per second. And our next topic is going to be the current. We remember you again, the first part is direct current and the second part is alternating current. And what is the voltage? Voltage is the amount of electricity you store in a battery. So you can understand that better you using the figures shown in the video. So there are the price of batteries depends on the voltage they have. When you talk about circuits, there are two types. First one is open circuit and the second one is closed circuit. And open circuit is not complete and that doesn't work. And closed circuit is complete and it works. You can see that using real time pictures given. So next topic is going to be connection. Connection divides into two parts. First one is serial connection. Second one is parallel connection. There are benefits and bad facts in the serious connections. The bad facts fact is in serious connection, if one part of the circuit is broken, the whole circuit is broken. But in parallel connection, if one part of the circuit is broken, its work other parts are working well. You can see that in a real time picture too. When we talk about components of the of the electronic circuit, the first one is resistor. There are resistance powers in resistors and they are measured in ohms. There is a way to measure, uh, measure there is a way to know how many ohms is a resistor. So you can see a chart here and we will talk about the example too. When we talk about this, the first color is green and the second color is blue and the third color is red and the last color, last color means the 5%. Five, 5%. So as you can see with the equation, we can get how much ohms is that resistor. So when talking about a resistor, there is a law called Ohm's law. It, it is V equals IR. So you can see an example on the screen. We can also calculate how much resistance is needed for a circuit. And when we take as example a LED bulb, the maximum ampere it can, uh, it can pass through is 25 milliampere. So we can calculate it like this and get the answer of how much ohms we need in our resistor. So we you can see also you can also see the resistor on the screen. So we are doing that practically. So here is the video with no resistor. As you can see, after a little time, bulb is blown up. And now we are going to test it with the resistor. With the resistor, you can see the bulb won't blow up and it is going to light up. And the next component we are talking is capacitors. 
there are three types of capacitors polar capacitors non polar capacitors and variable capacitors capacitors use the technology of static electricity to work capacit when we charge a capacitor capacitor stores electrons and protons of the electricity and when we discharge it means we use it the electrons and protons come together and becomes neutral so when all the electrons and protons become neutral we say the capacitor is discharged and the next one we are talking is diodes diode is used to make the current flow only in one direction so there are two parts in diode first one is anode and the second one is cathode so the international symbol for diode is shown and the real diode is also shown there is a white line in the diode to identify which there is a white line in diode to identify the which side identify the sides and here is a video when we put the diode correctly the motor spins and when we when we change the direction the motor doesn't rotate that was the animation and here is a real example so when we put the diode correctly the light the bulb lights up and when we change the direction the light doesn't light up the bulb doesn't light up we are going to do that again changing the direction of the diode the bulb lights up and changing the direction of the diode light change in the direction of the diode to other side the bulb doesn't light up so we have a part 2 also on this video so leave your ideas in the comments we will take our part 2 soon be sure to subscribe have a good day